Hi, James here from Trotec Laser Canada. Today we're going to be talking about the Speed Marker series of lasers. Most of you might know that the Speed Marker is a very capable engraving and marking laser, but today I'm going to be talking about how you can use it to cut metal. Here we are in Speedmark and we have our program listed right here. This here is our lasing surface where we can apply our objects. This program here has a start and an end. Right now the program is very simple. It starts and it ends. So we're going to spice it up a little bit by including an object to actually cut. So we're going to import an object and place it inside of our program. I'm going to look for that object called star.dxf and I'm going to add it. Then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger by making it a half an inch or 12.7 millimeters. So there's our star sitting directly there in the middle of our screen. The next thing we're going to do is we need to tell the machine to keep hitting the star with a laser until it cuts through. So how we do that is we create a loop. Down here is a loop. Now you may wonder what all these buttons are for. These are for adding parts to our program. So we could add anything we want to our program to make the machine do what it wants. We can do calculations and pauses and a user input, all sorts of things. You can even program uh, using a Visual Basic. But we're just going to place a loop in there. I'm going to grab my loop and I'm just going to drop it into the program. Now you see this loop has a start and a beginning as well. So if I grab my star and I drag it inside my loop, right about there, now you see it has a start of the loop, it does something, and it ends the loop going back to the beginning again. So everything inside this loop is just going to cycle. Our loop is going to have a variable, it's going to have a start number and an end number. So it's going to go from number 1 to number 7. Once it reaches 7, it continues on with the program, which is the end. So. Now the program will start, start a loop, hit the star, hit the star, hit the star seven times, and then end. But we need to give the laser tube a little bit of a breather after every hit of the star, because we're hitting it pretty hard. So we're going to give it a little break. We are going to set a delay right after we hit the star, just to let the laser breathe a little bit. When we double click that, I enter in 500 milliseconds or half a second. And now the machine will start. It will start a loop, engrave the star, wait half a second, and keep doing that seven times, and then end. But we haven't told it how powerfully to hit the star. So I'm going to select my star, come over here to marking change it to a very high power setting called steel annealing. Usually this is made for darkening steel, but if you put it right in focus, it does a very good job of cutting. Now, all we have to do is hit execute and we're done. While this may not be your number one pick for mass manufacturing of cut metal parts, you can see that you can use it for one-offs or rapid prototyping. I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave your comments below and don't forget 
subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.